go back to Mother 2. In the last part, well, I guess Paula went missing or something. I saw some weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gives me the creeps. By the way, guess who's back after so long? Mr. T. Mr. T. Yeah. <laughs> I love standing in a queue. I also like words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Queef. If I had some connections, I could just waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. They should have spelled connections with a Q. Huh. Just to continue the joke. We, that's right. We are the Runaway Brothers. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Whoa. What? What girl did get to meet her? It's talking about Paula. Uh, uh, Paula, who's apparently gone missing. Yeah. I'm liking the music right now. This the song's called. Cool. This song's called Boy Meets Girl. Boy Meets Grill. Boy Meets Grill. I take it. Boy Meets Grill. <laughs> it's Grill. <laughs> oh my God! It's George Foreman. <laughs> oh. Babe. Hey. Nice. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> of course it will. There was a kidnapping, believe me, even though I'm just a dog. <laughs> I believe a dog. I, I I can trust a dog with anything and everything. Well, a dog's tail never lies. A that, dog doesn't have a reason to lie. That stupid slob, the apple kid, always asks me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airheaded dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. Orange kid? Orange kid and apple kid. Huh. Well, oh. okay, yeah, hey, apple, apple kid, kid is extremely useful. Orange kid is just some really stuck up asshole. Oh. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You should give him a name. What should we name him? I'll name him. Wait, let's just take a moment to appreciate that you just walked into somebody's house, talked to their rat, and then dug through their trash can. <laughs> Before oh, talking to him. Yeah. I, love them. I haven't had a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Well, you're apple kid. You should get some apple. Give me the ATM card. Yeah, it, that would be a great. That would be a great meal. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use two hundred dollars. Yes, it's yeah, important. So I. It is very important that we give him those two hundred dollars. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take care of it. Please take it and say nothing. You got the receiver phone. Okay. okay. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. Yeah, I love RPG game dynamics. Um, I know I've mentioned this game before. Ham Taro, Ham Ham. No, not Ham Ham Park Break. That one's my favorite, so that's why. Paula's not it's home yet. Ever dread in Berglund Park might know something. Oh boy, now I'm really worried. Uh, sorry, what were you saying, Carrie? Oh, like oh, that's okay. I don't mind you reading that. So when I played Ham Ham's Unite, I like um you know you have to look at well you maybe not know if you haven't played it but for those who have played it, you have to go out and find all the Ham Tower characters and bring them back to the clubhouse and they would each get their own rooms and you know RPG logic you just barge into whatever room you want and so I always thought it was weird that you would just barge straight into their bedrooms like what if they were changing or something you know but RPG games what else would you expect? Well, I mean, these were made in Japan, so like, well, if that, that was that happening, she'd be all like, "Ah, Baka!" No, I'm kidding. Oh, oh man, man. <laughs> that was. I wish I was going to say I wish I could have recorded that, but we are recording that. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Christ. I always love doing voices like that. <laughs> The brave local hero named Ness who broke up the sharks has left Onet. Reports that the mayor stopped the sharks have been proven to be false. Hey, haha. All right. Good That's good. The mayor that... doesn't get the credit that he wants. That he... corrupt mayor. He doesn't deserve it. Yeah, that, that too. Mayor G.H. Perkle. If you don't vote for him, you're a jerkle. Oh, what a beast slogan. I don't remember where I heard that from. I know, I just know I didn't make it. You're a jackal. 
One of the biggest markets you'll ever find, now in Berglund Park. In the boss Berglund. of Berglund Park is Everdread. Hey, that guy looks like Teddy. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in the area. He's a scary guy. Berglund, so like Berlin. <laughs> Why don't we chat after we've locked horns? He just what? jumped on the roof and attacked us. He looks like he's from the 70s. <laughs> Hello, small child. I see that you want to converse. However, I'm going to say no. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> Ever dread. This, that's his name, right? Yeah. Does he, have, he has dreadlocks. He's so just, he's a name. really, really shady guy. Mmm, I see. A shady guy? Yes, Will, that is exactly what I said. Octagon. <laughs> it's kind of actually kind of what it sounded like. <laughs> Wait a minute! This Everdread has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fantastic sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight awesome angles! This oh, Everdread is an octagon! Man. We did oh, it, Elmo! Oh, we man. found an octagon! Yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Grateful Dead Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They say they were going to make Paula oh. some sort of human sacrifice. Oh no. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might have been killed already, so hurry and go there. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? <laughs> Don't forget. Yeah, you get her yeah, save Paula hurry. from those kidnappers so that I can kidnap her. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, man. Everdred's actually a very good guy. Like, You're a good guy. Thanks, Will. What? <laughs> Ever <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just saying here, Everdred's actually a good guy, despite how he seems. I'm staying at the hotel because he's because even though like I beat him, I I, I he did beat the shit out of me. So. <laughs> to be fair. Oh, the car just ran into you. You legit just like headbutted the car. Oh yeah, something I was gonna point out: the uh, few differences on the map. Only one of this, these is visible, and it's the hospital up in the top right um, corner. In the um, English localization, instead of that red cross, it would say hospital, and all red crosses are moved from ho removed from hospitals in, in the English localization of this game. Really? Wait, what? Universal organization. What? The red cross organization, like I think they wanted to avoid any legal beef with them or something. Hmm. Which is too bad because beef tastes good. Hey, who's that? That's a hippie. Uh, talk to him. No, he'll fight me. And I'm okay. actually being serious, he would fight me. Will, didn't you say you had a story about Earthbound? Oh, I do. Um, so, the first time I played Earthbound, um, I was leaving... Uh, I was leaving the house and Porky was like, all right, so you have your weapon. You should equip it. Do you know how to equip? Do you know what that means or whatever he says? And I'm like, yeah, I know what equip means. Let's just go. And so we went and then um, I was having a really hard time beating the first boss. Uh, Frank uh, or um, Titanic Ant? Uh, Frank. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, I was really hard time beating Frank, and I was like, what the hell? So I grinded a ton, um, and then after finally beating Frank, after a lot of grinding and a lot of, uh, a lot of garbage, I, uh, I went to the store, I was like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna go buy an upgrade for my weapon. Um, and then when I bought it and I went to equip it, I noticed that I didn't have a weapon equipped. Oh. Uh, and I had, I, in my, to play the game, I had overlooked the whole, you should equip your weapon first. So I actually punched Frank to death. Oh! Uh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, and I was, I was super overpowered. Um, that's probably that. that's probably pretty good because the really early sections of this game can get really irritating at times. Yeah. I mean, it's a breeze after after you get Paula in your party, but... Oh, walking oh. super out. I'm loving these enemies. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry for interrupting. Nah, it's okay. I think we'll just finish the story anyway. Oh yeah, walking sprout. Oh my gosh. These are great. You're great. And because they're, 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 the random encounters aren't really, like, random... I mean, they're not random encounters. I love getting to see the enemies on screen before you fight them. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they look like one thing on the overworld, and they'll look completely different um, in battle. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty rare kit. I mean, this doesn't it doesn't happen that often in this game, and when we get to Mother 3, that kind of thing's, like, gone completely. So, like, anything that appears in the overworld will look like it did, like, the same way in battle, just, you know, more detailed, because the battle sprite's closer up. Oh, look at that thing! What is it? You hide from it? Oh, it's a flying saucer. Little UFO. Oh, it is UFO. Oh, little UFO. Is it? Is it? Is it like Starman Junior's best friend? Well, Carrie, remember the UFO enemies from the first mother? Yeah. It's the same enemy, except now it has a face. Even cuter. Anyway, yeah, this is Grateful Dead Valley, so. It, it is a place that exists, and uh, stuff happens in here, and for some weird reason, a pencil-shaped sh iron <laughs> statue is blocking the path. <laughs> Next time in Smash Team Games, we'll get to the bottom of that pencil statue. 